오 올라간다 올라간다 이게 올라가는 거야 지금 What's up guys, it's Minu here. About a few weeks ago, I went to Jeju Island with a few friends of mine. Jeju is one of my favorite places to go whenever I feel like traveling or a little bit of getaway in South Korea. And this trip was two nights and three nights trip. Jeju is a huge island and I think you actually need about two weeks to see at least a bit of everything but this time it was kind of a weekend getaway which is good enough and also the flights to go there are super cheap I have some strong recommendations for you so keep watching and hope you find some good information How much was your ticket again? Uh, Going to Jeju, yeah. 66, coming back, 20. Whoa! Really? Yeah. That's so cheap. I think uh, Monday evening was 40, 43. Yeah. 43. So the best way to travel Jeju is renting a car. If you're not Korean, you would need an international driver's license. We rented a small car but big enough for three people for three days. And that was around 100,000 won with full insurance coverage. So I'd say it's pretty affordable. How do I look? Oh! Like a boss. Oh my god! <laughs> Ready to drive with my tattoo sleeves. <laughs> I didn't notice why you were doing <laughs> Our first destination of the first day was Mysterious Road. Let's find out why it is mysterious. Alright, go play in the road, children. Ne. <laughs> <laughs> 네. 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 It does look like it's going up from your angle. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another fun way to experience this road is to use your car. And my friend Justin will help you with that. So this is the mysterious road experiment. Minu is going to put his car in neutral. And then he's going to let it roll down the road. But it looks like he's going up hill. So it looks like uphill, but he's actually going downhill. One one three nine road or Route one one three nine is the fastest way to connect from the north of the Jeju to the south, and it is absolutely gorgeous. You know what gaichi in English is? Actually, don't. Okay, so that's mackerel. Jeju mackerel. Oh, it says dish. cutlass fish. Ah, which one? Yeah, cutlass. cutlass. So that's one Jeju specialty. Cutlass fish. We call it gaichi. Mmm. Looks good. Epo Chusangjeolli Cliff is one of my favorite places to visit in Jeju. The whole area is made by volcanic activities from millions of years ago and it's such a unique and majestic landscape. If you don't have much time and if you are in the southern area of Jeju, this would be the first place I would recommend to you. Okay, this is our upgraded room. Let's see. One bed here. Ooh. Three double beds. Perfect. 
after checking in, we took a shower and took a nap and we had to a beach bar by the cliff. I made a video about it and I'm gonna share the link in the details down below. So check it out. Our last mission that night was to have Jeju Black Peak Black Pork. If you are in Jeju, you cannot miss Black Pork. We got shoulder, uh, pork belly, and some other stuff. <laughs> and a bunch of um, side dishes. And uh, Jeju Palasan Soju. And this restaurant was just maybe 5 minutes walk away from our hotel and I strongly recommend this restaurant, good service, good price and we even got a private room. Maybe the restaurant was not that busy because of corona situation but anyways, good meat, good deal and splendid service. So if you are in this Jungmun area, go check that place out. I'm gonna leave the Google location code and also the name of it down below. So that wraps up our first day in Jeju, which was mainly in southern area, more specifically Jungmun area. Um, so this was my recommendation. If you have other recommendation or your favorite place, please let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one, which will cover my second and third day in Jeju. Bye!